I'm looking forward for this activity. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I feel joyful. I feel adventurous. I feel ecstatic. I feel excited to explore. <laughs> what is your side building for the evolution is called the project? The Tavidad building. Can you give any brief information about it? It's one of the two sports, views, art, architecture along Escolta Street. Do you know Escolta before this project? If yes, where and who introduced you into it? Yup, um, Ms. Cap for a spring class. What are your expectations on our educational trip next week? I think it will be fun and educational at the same time. What will you do when you get there? Um, interview some staffs about the history of the building. What are your preconceptions about old buildings like your assigned building? Um, I think old buildings like those from Escolta should be preserved and be considered as one of our country's treasure because it gives identity to us. What is your assigned building for the Evolution Escolta project? Um, our assigned building is the Natividad building. Do you know Escolta before this project? Um, if yes, who, where and who introduced you into it? Um, yeah, I knew Escota first term pala through Miss Cat Korea because we had a project for Escota. What are your expectations on our educational trip next week? I'm, I expect that I will learn a lot from history of this, the buildings and who are the architects from the uh, who are the architects who made those buildings. What will you do when you get there? Um, I'm assigned to interview the staff who works there. What are your preconceptions about old buildings like your side building? My preconceptions from old buildings that is that there are a lot of histories that I could learn from the buildings, from the stories behind it and from its past. What is your side building for the evolution as called the project? Oh, the Tibetan. Can you give any brief information about it? Um, it won't house the insurance commission. Do you know Escolta before this project? If um, yes, where and who introduced you into it? Um, yes, back in first term, our prof and Avis friend is Cap Korea. What are your expectations on our educational trip next week? Um, I expect it to be fun and full of learning. What will you do when you get there? Um, I'm assigned to do sketches, so I'll take photos there. What are your preconceptions about old buildings, like your assigned building? Um, I think that it will be um, historical, but it's still beautiful. What is your assigned building for the evolution as called the project? Let me that building. Can you give any brief information about it? So, I'm not sure if it's an architect, but I consider si Fernando Blondu an architect. Do you know Escolta before this project? If yes, where and who introduced you into it? Yes, no first term pa. No, yung prof um, What are your expectations on our educational trip next week? Uh, yung environment as adventure din. Then maraming malalaman na what will you do when you get there? Then you know the sketch. What is your assigned building for the evolution Escolta project? Um, yung Natividad building. Can you give any brief information about it? Um, based dun sa research ko, ito yung um, example siya ng neoclassical art style. Do you know Escolta before this project? If yes, where and who introduced you into it? Um, as yung Escolta, in-introduce to sa akin ng, ng prof namin last term sa sa AD screen, um, si Miss Kat Korea. Um, nagpagawa siya ng midterm a midterm plate or midterm mid project non about the Skalta. What are your expectations on our educational trip next week? Um, syempre, um, magkakaroon pa ng mas marami pang kaalaman about Skalta, especially dun sa assigned building. What will you do when you get there? Um, naka-assign sa akin is mag-gumawa ng sketch. What will be your task for this project? Uh, my task for this project is to help the director in asking interview questions and help him manage the others in doing their task. What are your first impressions for the project? My first impression for this project is that it would be an informative one and it would help me understand the history of our country more.
What was your expectations for us in this project? Uh, well, you have to put it into context that these kids grew up uh, in a postmodern period. Uh, unfortunately, the buildings that they had grew up with here in the Philippines are a bunch of modernist buildings. So, uh, going to Escolta would uh, immerse them on a space that uh, I think they has never been experienced before. Uh, you know, a bunch of neoclassical buildings. Naman. Therefore, it is important for them as architects to understand how uh, space evolved from A to B, and that is from the past and the, the present and the future. Also, I want them to understand, uh, to look at these buildings as if they are old relatives. Uh, when they took the educational trip, uh, these buildings are like old distant relatives that uh, they have seen the first time. Uh, and this is why I don't impose anything from them. Na parang uh, they, that, uh, they don't use any scientific methods to examine the building. Uh, I just want them to experience the building as if it is just a field trip, a normal field trip. Uh, uh, this is very important for them to have a personal touch to the environment na, like a school. Before we end this interview, do you want to say anything about this experience? Guys, you should try and visit this Escolta. It may not be as beautiful as before, but it still has um, many stories that was compiled in every building. Guys, visit Escolta because you would learn a lot from people around around Escolta and there's a lot to learn. You should visit Escolta even though there is this background that is sketchy, but if you get there and look inside the building, you can see the beauty. Visit Escolta 